How to Save Your Marriage is the focus of this video, and more importantly, how to do it effectively and powerfully. This is Dr. Lee Balkum. In this short video, I'm going to tell you the secret of saving your marriage, and by the end of this video, you will know your next step, and you'll be ready to take action to save your marriage. Here's the fact. People, even experts, have it all wrong, and I'll prove it in this video in a moment. But before I do that, be sure to comment below with your questions and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos of me answering your questions. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a kickstart on saving your marriage immediately. To be crystal clear, a marriage crisis is incredibly painful and difficult. It tears at your emotions and the emotional life of your family. It can feel like your heart is being ripped apart. Sometimes it's so difficult that you can feel like you can barely keep your head above water. But through the pain, I want you to imagine something else. Imagine a life where you and your spouse look forward to being together, sharing your hopes, joys, and concerns. Imagine no longer worrying about what is going to happen, knowing that your marriage can only strengthen and grow. You can do that. You can save your marriage. You can build a relationship that you can treasure and others will envy. The truth is, not only can you save your marriage, but you can do it even if your spouse is not interested right now. Many people claim that saving a marriage alone is impossible. Sorry, but that's misguided and misses an important point. Now, you can't save a marriage alone, but you can start the process of saving your marriage and drawing your spouse back into the relationship. You can magnetize the process, attracting a reluctant spouse to reconsider and recommit. You can start saving your marriage, working alone for now. And I'm going to simplify the process of saving your marriage, so grab a pen and paper for a couple of quick notes. You see, there are only three steps necessary in saving your marriage, and they are quite simple. Sometimes we make it far more complicated than it really is. So let's really simplify this and boil it down to the essentials. But remember that simple does not mean easy. It will take effort on your part, but the payoff is huge. You can escape the statistics of divorce, and you can build an incredible relationship if you know the steps. There's a lot of information or misinformation on the Internet. Some people will tell you to make your spouse jealous. Others will tell you to overwhelm your spouse with kindness and gifts. Neither of these approaches work and can actually make things worse. And both misunderstand the process behind saving your marriage. The rest of the advice out there can get downright silly, manipulative, and worse. It can cause the collapse of your relationship. And yet, there are only three steps you need to know. So here are the three steps to saving your marriage, the three C's of saving a marriage. Please write them down. Number one, connect with your spouse. Number two, Change yourself. Number three, create a new path. Okay, so let's take a look at each one so you know where to start. The first step is to connect with your spouse. Marriages are usually in trouble because the spouses have disconnected from each other emotionally, physically, and spiritually. From there, you tend to build up walls that can cause even more pain and disconnection. That's not your fault. Life often gets in the way. And you may not have prioritized the connection. And sometimes we disconnect and are oblivious to the toll it takes on your marriage. So now you need to work on rebuilding the connection between the two of you. Connection happens on all three of those levels, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So you want to focus on each area. But be careful to not push too hard. That can overwhelm someone that has been starving for connection. It's like giving a starving child too much food at one time. You have to start slow and build up. Not sure how to connect? Here are a couple of hints. Think back to the ways you and your spouse connected when things were better. Notice that there were intermediary steps to connecting within each way you connected. For example, if you connected physically and that is now absent, notice the many ways you can connect physically and it not be sex. Focus on those smaller steps for right now. Here's another hint. Think about how your spouse connects, not how you connect, or at least how your spouse once tried to connect, because the way your spouse connects will tell you the most effective way to connect to your spouse. We connect with others in ways that make us feel most connected. 
At the end of this video, I will give you some more help on connecting. Okay, the second problem is people often stop growing and developing in life. That's true for you, right? Are there places that you know you have grown stagnant and stuck? Are there places that your spouse keeps pointing out where you need to change and grow? Okay, it's time to be non-defensive. It's time to decide to make these changes. Just make sure you aren't setting yourself up for a bigger crisis. You really do need to change, but be careful on how you go about this. When people decide it is time to change, they often take a crash course, start trying to change everything, and announce it to the world. But change is tough, especially under pressure. So you want to make sure you create a game plan on how and what you're going to change. Be specific and be clear. And don't share it with your spouse. Be the change. Don't talk about the change. By changing yourself, you will be functioning from a higher and more healthy place. But more than that, in terms of saving your marriage, you will become more attractive to your spouse. Remember, your spouse did fall in love with you at some point. That can happen again. You have the capacity of moving beyond where you are, of upping your game. The last thing you need to do is create a new path for your relationship. Most people don't consider this one. Have you? Do you know the best path for your marriage? Most people don't, mostly because no one taught you. There's no user guide to marriage that is giving at the wedding. So most people stumble around in their relationship trying to make it work, but not knowing where to go or how. If you really want to rebuild your marriage, you need to have some idea of where you're headed. Wandering in the forest lost is not a way to save a marriage. So here's the biggest secret of all. Marriage is about creating a we, that sense of we are in this together. We have each other's back. We can make it through whatever comes our way. Now, being a we is about creating an entity that is beyond the two individuals. It's not about being a blob of togetherness, some type of mind meld. It's about bringing together two people that are stronger than either one individually. It requires bringing your best self to the relationship, but connecting deeply with your spouse. Being a we happens in each of your heads, so even if your spouse is not there yet, you can be. And by the way, if you're having power struggles, you are nowhere near being a we. Don't tell your spouse to be a we. Choose to move there yourself. That invites your spouse to join. So the new path you're creating is just that, becoming a we. Miss that and your marriage will be in trouble. Master it and your marriage will be unstoppable. That really is it. Three simple steps that can save your marriage. But there's a lot more to the process than that. First, there are some things you need to either stop doing or avoid doing. If you fall into these common action traps, you may find that you have dug the hole too deep. So not only are there three steps you need to do, there are some things you need to not do. When you accidentally do these things, you actually make it harder to gain ground. You set yourself back in the process and create roadblocks that can literally derail the process, sometimes when your marriage could have easily been saved otherwise. I want to make sure you know what to avoid, so I have a free report for you. That report is going to tell you in detail exactly what not to do. More than that, the report is going to tell you how to get started on what to do so you can get started saving your marriage effectively and powerfully. The report will show exactly how you can get started with the three steps. Are you ready? Just follow the link below and I will get you that free report. This is Dr. Lee Balkum and I know you can save your marriage. Just click the link below and get started. If you can't click the link, just visit secretmarriagereport.com. That's secretmarriagereport.com. I'll see you there.